Well, most of us have probably never given the great seal of Idaho a second thought. Probably don't even know what it looks like or what it's used for. Well, for one, it's part of the state flag, as you can see there. The governor and legislature also use it on their official business. But did you know Idaho's state seal was designed by a woman? And we're the only state in the nation to have its state seal designed by a woman. Here's Kim Fields with the story. Her name was Emma Edwards Green, and back in 1890, she entered a contest. Idaho had recently become a state, and the legislature wanted a state seal. They kind of put it out like a competition. Uh, it was definitely something that they were soliciting, not just from residents of Idaho or regular citizens, but from art houses all over the country. This is Emma's original painting of the winning design, stored at the Idaho State Museum, too delicate to display in public. What I think is really fantastic about this whole design is the fact that she placed man and woman on equal footing and equal stature within the design. So to put this all kind of into context, in 1891, which is when she was working on the design itself, conversations about suffrage were happening all over the West. Emma later wrote, the woman in the painting signifies justice by holding the scales, liberty as denoted by the liberty cap on the end of her spear, and equality with man standing by her side. And so by putting a woman in equal stature uh, with a man on the state seal, she was kind of solidifying this idea that women had a place in Idaho in 1890, but also get they would have a place moving forward in the future as well. The pick and shovel held by the miner, the ledge of rock beside him, along with the pieces of ore scattered around his feet, represent the chief occupation of the state at the time. The other industries that she wanted to make sure were present in the seal uh, included the prominent industries of the time. So we have agriculture, we have mining, and we have timber. Uh, we also see the other resources of the state. The uh, river on display is supposedly the snake river, uh, largest and, and biggest river in Idaho. Elk and moose were protected, which is why Emma painted the elk's head rising above the shield. She painted the state flower, the wild syringa, growing at the woman's feet. And the star, she later wrote, signified a new light in the galaxy of states. The only state seal in the country to be designed by a woman. She was a trailblazer, you know, from the day that she arrived, I would say. Emma Edwards Green won $50 for her winning design, which equates about $1,400 in today's dollars. She died in 1942 in Boise. Her obituary said she was 84 years old. The Great Seal of Idaho you see today still looks similar to Emma's original design, but the colors and imagery slightly adjusted to the 1950s.